and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Now, since the last video, I ended up getting this um, MCW, the Holger, the MTZ, and the SVA all maxed out in gold. And the only two ARs we have left is this DG58 and FR556. Now, I was doing core up until the MCW, but until I realized how bad that gun is, I made the switch to hardcore. The MCW just gets outbeat by like every other gun in the game because every other gun is either like a three tap, four tap, and the MCW just like takes five hits for an AR, which is crazy. And I would just get constantly beat by the Bass B, so then I just switched to hardcore and it was one tapping like everybody. I apologize if you can hear the rain in the background. It's raining pretty hard outside because it is uh, that season where we all like to stay home wrapped in our blankets. Which is exactly what I did today. I ended up skipping school because I missed my bus and I woke up late. Dude, because of this game, by the way. This game has just absolutely destroyed my sleep schedule. I am like up to 3, 4 in the morning playing this game, just grinding at it. Extremely unhealthy, by the way. I would not suggest doing it. Not playing the game, but staying up late, I mean. It's always important to go to bed early. Which I've conditioned myself into doing as of a few years ago. I had like an unhealthy... I would say I had an unhealthy addiction to this games in general. I would be up so late this one time. I had a, I had like my final. It was my final for my maybe my English class or maybe science, and I was up. I pulled an all-nighter playing video games, and before I realized, it was already six o'clock, and I had to get up in an hour to get ready. So I just stayed up instead, cause no way was I gonna go to bed and wake up early enough to get ready. Because I was going to oversleep. So I was, I went into this test absolutely sleep deprived. And I'm surprised I actually, I aced it. I think I got like an 80. I got like a B on it, which is kind of crazy. I like just getting in there and shooting everybody. Which is what Call of Duty is, by the way. It's not like Siege where you have to play this. It's mind game. I think after I finish out these ARs, I might... I'm probably gonna go down the line, just go right into attack rifles after this, which should be easy. Cause I think there's only like two or three of them, so that'll be real quick and easy. I almost have this gun maxed out, I think I have it at like 23 out of 25. And the FAMAS is only like 19 levels, so I should be able to get these guns done by today and then we'll start working on SMGs. Oh, there we got it. I just need uh, one more challenge, I think. I think the last challenge is... Uh, I think it's all the same for the ARs, actually. I think it's just... Uh, it's tack stance kills, which are really easy. It's only 25 of them, and with this gun and, and this game mode, I'm melting everybody anyway. Don't, don't look at the score. I, I promise. I melt people. Another thing, I didn't realize this until I hit maxed level, which is a long time. Like, too long until I didn't notice. But I was wondering why I didn't have all the guns. Apparently, I needed to do these, which are that you need to do your daily challenges to unlock stuff. Look, I have 13 out of 58 completed. Apparently, you just have to do your daily challenges to unlock them. And then once you do all your daily challenges, you get this bonus challenge where when you just start winning matches, you get points for it, which is a pretty slow way to unlock stuff. How long until I unlock everything? With the amount of hours I put in every day, I'm not winning every match because I don't care about winning that much. I just want to get these challenges done with. After this recording, I'm probably going to go have to do some homework because I am kind of behind on it and it is almost mid-quarter. By the way, crazy, I'm halfway through my school year already. I can't believe how fast everything is going by. I am almost out of high school. The PlayStation catalog games just dropped yesterday, and I think on it is Hotline Miami. Like, it's three Hotline Miamis. It's one, two, and then it's one remastered. Like, it's optimized for the PS5. By the way, if you haven't, I highly suggest you go and play those games. Hotline Miami is such a good series. I played both of the games on my Xbox when they first dropped, and it was so fun. And I just got so invested in the story and the characters especially the gameplay the gameplay makes you feel like an absolute maniac which is 
probably what it was going for camping and hardcore soft as hell bro it's hardcore like i feel like hardcore is meant to be played slower because you die so quickly it's so satisfying once you start getting something going with this gun because it's just like dink 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 it just makes it so satisfying but that's like with every gun because every gun why did you just blow me up how did you miss your whole rocket and just run it into me dude i don't know if it's a bug or if it's just a visual glitch but um in hardcore some matches i'm getting my hud like my whole hud i'm just missing my mini map like as you can see now i don't have my ammo count i don't have the score count but on sometimes when i'm playing i get them for i don't know what reason but i spawn into the match with them i have no idea what's actually causing it but i mean it's cool i guess to have basically core my core hud another visual glitch i've been i've been getting but i haven't seen anybody else really talk about it is sometimes when i get hit by like uh, an explosive or a a cruise missile when i spawn back in my camera will be slanted for whatever reason the screen shake when you die and like me maybe respawning too quick i'm not even sure but i don't know why it does that and it only goes away once i die again and i haven't seen anybody else get it or even like talk about it but maybe hopefully they'll fix it i'm gonna end it there i'm gonna go finish out these last two guns and then move on to the next category don't forget to leave a like subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video peace out